my little carcumaniacs. My name is Carcumo, the Forger. Oh! Pain. And welcome back to Carcumo Gaming. As usual, I have something for you. Two special thingy majiggies. But first, I'm gonna use my magic. What? What is this? Two beautiful mini beam projectors from LG. <laughs> what do you say if we review this bad boys right away? <laughs> Let's get started with the little brother, the mini beam nano. Just look at it. It's so light! And who said size doesn't matter? Because it clearly does! In this case, small is better. Awkward! Okay, okay, okay. On a serious note, just look at the comparisons I made so you can see that this is pretty darn practical in the scale of things, no pun intended. This is practically plug and play if you are using an HDMI source. And I am very impressed with the picture quality, the colors, the contrast, it's better of what you expect of a projector, that for the most part the image are kind of washed out. Of course, it depends on the lighting that surrounds the environment, but even in that scenario, the LG Mini Beam Nano kicks ass! On a side note, the LG Mini Beam Nano is native to 854 x 480 and um, I would have liked 720p, like its older sibling that can also upscale to 1080 with no problem. But, you know guys, they put all this in this small, tiny package, so I can't actually complain. While testing these, I noticed that both of the projectors include building speakers, which it was a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting these. For the most part, you never find built-in speakers in other projectors. But in case you have guests and it's movie night, you can also connect speakers in the 3.5 audio jack of the Mini Bing Nano and via Bluetooth in his bigger brother. Another important aspect of these mini beams is the life of the light bulb. And you know something, I don't think they will die anytime soon. You know why? Because they have a lifespan of 30,000 hours. Holy moly, 30,000 hours of light time. Like, I would die first. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I can't do the math. But I know, that's a long time! The menus are very intuitive and the interface is user friendly. You can also use the remote control in case, you know, you don't want to get up. All your movies for presentations can be connected via USB plug and play. That easy. The other feature edge that caught me by surprise was that you can connect your smartphone with a Wi-Fi connection and you can stream while you're looking at your phone. It has a small input lag, but it won't mess up anything. I recommend just don't use this for gaming via Bluetooth. Yeah, gaming. Gaming, right? Yes, I know what you're thinking. Karkimo, when are you gonna try your retro test without Nintendo? Well, I was saving the best for last. Because I have cool news. <laughs> These uh, mini beams, they have a built-in battery. So, let's... 
get out and enjoy the world and, you know, let's try my retro stuff. And speaking of, you know, this image doesn't look retro for me. So, editor, can we have, like, noise? Yeah, that's better. How about some scratches? Okay, I like it. How about some splotches? Yes, I'm feeling the... Are you feeling the retro vibe? So, come and join me and let's try these babies outside in the real world. If you guys know me, then you know I'll test this with my mini nest. The image speaks for itself. The games look great without any lag. And I could enjoy all the game's original soundtrack and sound effects because that place was empty. I even had time to check out a couple of my videos that I took on a USB device. LG indicates us that the built-in battery can last up to two hours in both mini beams. But after playing a heck of a lot, I can tell you this. The batteries last a little over two hours in the mini beam nano and the big one. Once again, two excellent products that I can recommend as the forger of pain with property as an expert in video games and technology, baby. And if you want to see more, where? You know where to tune in, here in Karkuma Gaming. Like or die.